Hello everyone, it's Connie here from MenuDocs and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at additional checks. Now, in the previous video, we went through and did some permission handling. And in this video, what we're going to do is do something that is just additional checks that isn't necessarily permission checks. So what we're going to do is we're going to check if a command is an only uh, an owner only command, if it is a guild only command, if it is a not safe for work command or an NSFW command. Or finally, if the command requires some arguments. So without further ado, let's head right into this. So we're going to simply start off in the command.js yet again, and we're going to add the following. This dot guild only equals options dot guild only or false. So using an or operator there, this dot owner only equals options, options dot owner only or false following that is this dot nsw equals options dot nsw or false and then finally this dot args equals options options dot args or false so that is that done we're going to close that up and we're going to head right into the message.js so as you can see we still got this little bit of issue here uh, they're not really that important at this current point in time. Also, we're going to have to add something into our ESLIN RC if you're using them. And it's simply just going to be uh, co complexity. It's going to have a error. And then it's just extending the maximum to 30. Uh, because at the moment, Tesseract has the default maximum of complexity. If you don't know what it is, um, it's just basically indents and stuff like that within the file. Uh, so we're going to head on back over to message.js, closing this file out because we don't need it. And we're going to start off from the top. So we're going to do if uh, command.owner only and this dot client dot utils dot check owner uh, message dot author dot id. Then after this, what we're going to do is just return message dot reply. And inside this, we're just going to simply say, sorry, this command can only be run or sorry, be used in a uh, used by the owner or owner. Yeah, let's say that because obviously you can provide an array. Uh, basically, what we're doing here is checking if the command has the property to say that it's an, an owner only command. And then obviously with the and operator here, we're checking um, to see if they are not an owner. So basically... This will then return saying this message. If they're not an owner, go on their merry day. Following this, we're simply going to have the, um, I think we're going to go with command.guild only next. So if the command is guild only and the message.guild isn't present, then we will have the following return message.reply. We're just simply going to say, sorry, this command can only be used in a discord server with a full stop there don't forget your semicolons peep following this we'll go to the next line and we're simply just going to have the command dot nsw and basically checking if the channel is a is a not safe for work channel following this we're going to do message dot reply and then this is just simply going to be sorry this command can only be used in a oh actually no sorry no i was right I'm, I'm thinking thinking completely wrong here. Uh, so basically, if it's asking that telling you that the command is a not safe for work command and the channel is not a not safe for work, that's when it would return. If we were to remove this, it would be two trues to saying that the message channel is a not safe for work, uh, meaning that um, basically all channels, uh, sorry, basically returning when the channel is a not safe for work channel and not when it's not. Um, yeah, so following this, what we're going to do is we're going to simply have um, command.arg and then and args.length. I've seen a few channels do this wrong. I'm not going to name drop any, but yeah, just make sure you're doing this correct. We're checking if the command needs arguments and then checking uh, basically if there is no args length provided. Following this, what we're going to do is return this. We're going to do message.reply and this is where we're going to provide the usage if it is not present or they don't know what the usage is. So this command requires arguments uh, to function. Simply after this, we're just gonna do usage and we're gonna start off with a ternary operator. So we're just gonna check if they have a usage and if so, we're just going to provide so. So we can simply inside here, this.client.prefix plus command 
dot name. I forgot to add these bad boys here. I don't know what's going on with these brackets. It's so hard to keep track of these things sometimes. Uh, we're just going to simply do so. Do command dot usage. And then if I am seeing this correctly, we're going to need to provide this bad boy and just simply do this command doesn't. Uh, we're going to have a backslash here because doesn't. Uh, have a usage format. See what the issue is. Um, that's here. Wait, no. Right? Ah, oh, there we go. I fixed it. Cool. As you'll see, like it's the returns already run out or got rid of itself. Basically, we have our four checks now. So you have the owner check, the guild only check, not safe for work check, your arguments check, and then you have your permission stuff down below. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to the util. And we're going to simply add a couple things in here. We're just going to do them above. What we're going to do is you'll see that we used a check owner. So we're just going to check. We're just going to add an async. So we're going to have to provide a parameter. This being target. We're going to assign the parameter to the value or the name as target. Uh, just your normal JavaScript stuff. This.client.owners.includes. And then we're simply going to have the target.id. I see an issue that has just prevent presented itself. Basically, in here, we provide the ID. What we're going to do is we're just going to simply remove that. We're going to provide the message.author. And then we're going to just have the ID property here. And then following this, we have one more, which is a uh, compare terms. So we're going to provide the member or well, assign the first parameter to the member and then target. And basically, this is just going to be for future future checks, pretty much. So we're going to be pretty much checking the highest role of the person that's called the command to the highest person they're providing. Target dot roles dot highest and dot permission, uh, not permission, position. All right, that is the final bit here. So what we can do is we'll just go into here and I'm trying to work out. So we'll, I'll just show you, for instance, we'll do the not safe for work one uh, because obviously I'm the owner of the bot. Uh, so the owner command is not going to work and then we could possibly do the guild one as well So we'll just set this to true and then we could have args true and we could simply have the guild only as True now what we will do is we'll head on over into discord go into recording and this isn't oh actually sorry We we may need to to run the bot here boys and girls So we've run the bot now and what we're going to do is we're going to simply run the info command and you'll see that this is a not safe for work. Well, it's, it's not a not safe for work channel. So if we head on over here, you'll see that this command works in here. That is an issue. Let's quickly head on over back in what we've done wrong here. Oh, I see what we've done. So is this simply because our usage already has this added? I'm going to go with yes. Let's have, we'll have a, we'll quickly remove this and we'll have a quick Gander over in so usage already adds this stuff. Yeah, okay sweet So what we'll do is we'll just quickly run the command again So there is things that do get missed and when you're coding you can just go back over them um, So if we have a look here, you'll see that it's now working out for us. Yeah, so this is the commit That's that's the one for args uh, if we were to run this in a if we were just to quickly message the bot Yeah, so if we were to quickly message the info command bot it would it would break. Why would it break? Why is it breaking? Uh, I'm going to guess that's because the command doesn't actually work. Oh, I probably know why it's not working. Yeah, okay. So one thing we do need to, to remove is the fact that this is up here. So if we remove that, it won't ignore all messages anymore. So if we go back down here, we'll do info. And you'll see that it'll tell you that it can only run in a Discord server. And the same applies for the, the owner only. Thing. it basically checks to see if you're the owner or not and then it will return if so so that is that for the video guys i hope you have enjoyed um obviously if you do need any form of assistance with the code or you want to expand on what your bot is instead of just following the tutorials directly we're more than happy to help so it, head on over into our discord it's menudocs.link forward slash discord or discord.gg forward slash menudocs and just jump in there. We have multiple channels and you'll be able to be around other developers and people from other communities. Um, but yeah, this has been Connie here from Menudocs. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.